WNST, Towson, of Baltimore. At Baltimore Positive, we are positively into the summertime and doing the Maryland Crab Cake Tour. We're going to be out at Spirits West on Thursday from 2 to 5. Uh, some of the old St. Joe folks and the St. Agnes Ascension folks stopping by. Uh, we're looking forward to that. I'll be giving away these instant lottery scratch also in the Maryland Lottery, uh, the throwbacks, as well as uh, wearing the uh, fun floppy hat from our friends at Window Nation, 866-90 Nation. You buy two, you get two free. And 0% financing for the next two years at Window Nation. Whole schedule up for the Crab cake tour and had some moving around we're not going to be at hollywood casino next week we're going to do that next month this guy's going to come out and have a crab cake with me at some point uh, he has been managing money managing summer managing beach managing i guess peacock and apple plus and uh trying to find the orioles like all the rest of us at this point let her ask our defending financial champion back on from raskin global and uh, trying to make the summer right hey by the way if i um if i punted on my taxes april 15th uh the, the deadlines you know at some point i'm gonna have to file right i just want to october make sure October. Okay. All right. Yeah, the government the government gives you a freebie to file. We've talked about till October. They don't give you a freebie to pay though. You got to pay April. April 15th. The I, I money's was warned due because I have you, but I That's did think right. about this over the week and I'm like still got to do that. I got to move that a little higher up on the to-do. Got to get it. Got to get it on the priority list. Got to get it right there with uh getting uh Cedric Mullins healthy. Yeah, and, and getting um, the and Ryan network. and Ryan Mountcastle and then yeah, getting streaming. You say, cut the cord, cut the cord. So you cut the cord, you save what? 80 bucks. But then you got to buy Apple Plus for 14. You got to buy Peacock for 15. You got to buy Netflix for 20. You got to buy Disney Plus. You got to buy Max. Before you know it, you're $120 of streaming to watch one show once a month, like the Orioles. But the way I looked at it was uh, I tried to find them. This weekend, I tried to find where it was. I don't know. It took me a while because I looked at Masson. I looked at Fox. I looked at uh, NBC because I heard they were on NBC. Lo and behold, NBC's got the uh, PGA Golf US Open. Yeah, I went so to I'm CBS thinking, looking for that, strangely enough, right? Right, right. So I'm, you can't find anything anywhere it's supposed to be. Wait till football season starts. Anyway. YouTube uh, so, TV, baby. Right, right. So I hooked up uh, on ESPN.com, and I found out that they're on the Peacock. And, and then I have to go looking for the Peacock. And then I got to – I have Peacock. I don't know why I have Peacock. I think because the boy subscribed us to everything so he could watch anything he wants at college. So I think we're subscribed to everything. We've got it all. So yeah, I said well, to I, him – Some people don't. And then, then how of do you find not. it? Well, you find it the way we all found it when we were 13. You go to that transistor radio and you put on. See, here's what I do for just that. Hope Melanie Newman's not calling the game because that's oh, impossible. Oh, oh, come just, on. Now. Just not. She's not, possible. not. She's not that bad. <laughs> anyway, so, that so then I went. So then I went to my my favorite, which is Sirius XM, another subscription. And I popped up on the phone. Sirius XM and listen to some Scott Garceau doing the game because uh, I have the Orioles as a favorite on the, on the satellite radio and every game is on. So I know no matter what I can find it on the Sirius. So I found it on the Sirius and of course couldn't have asked for a better father's day weekend. It was beautiful out. So we sat out by the pool with uh, Scott Garceau and the other guy, uh, Brent Hollander, I think it is doing the play-by-play live from Wrigley Field. I've been there. I've been to Wrigley Field. That's one of the ones I got to. <laughs> well, it, it, it's it, this is a consumer issue, right? And I oh, guess you can. In, in, in normal businesses that you do business with and are, they earn money and you invest their money and you uh, – in a normal trust or integrity or whatever – they would find some better way to do this than you, you know where to find in the, them in the, in the, in the office screaming, like I can't find the game. I've looked everywhere. You, I can't you find know where game. to find them. You know where to find them or at least, at least on the, and I don't know that I saw this at all. Cause I watch, I don't watch every game, but I have it on in the background at least while I'm doing some other work or something, at least you would have during the game. And in, instead of at the fifth inning, I think it's the FanDuel odds of the over-under for the game. They would have, hey, by the way, don't forget, tomorrow's game is on Peacock. 
but I don't think I saw that. I saw the odds of Adley Rutschman hitting a home run when he comes up to bat in the seventh or something of that. Well, ilk. they don't sit there for five days and say <laughs> to you, on Sunday, you will not be able to watch the game unless right. you figure this out now, as right. opposed to thinking the game being in Chicago might not start till two o'clock. Cause that sounds reasonable. And instead they started at one o'clock one, and, and you one, are scrambling to find, to find the peacock don't and then have. And then once I realized it was on the peacock, then you got to go get the peacock. And here's how I justified the peacock. Cause I don't watch anything on there. I'm not going to watch anything on there. Most Have likely you talked to Matthew about how you got it and how lucky you were that, that yeah, he we, thought of you ahead oh, of time. He, he, he had, had it. it. He had it. I didn't have the password. We had to find that. <laughs> so we had to get the password in cause he had the password, but, okay. but he knew what it was. And here's the thing. I don't know what it costs. Let's say it's 10 bucks a month. All right. So if I want to watch the O's play the Cubs, 120 bucks is the price of the ticket. So now I buy Peacock for the whole year to watch one game. And you justify it by saying, okay, that game was $120. I didn't have to buy the uh, nachos and dogs at the park. So I saved a lot of money. Didn't have to park downtown. Boy, you sound like you're running PR for DJ <laughs> right now. I mean, come on. Why, why don't you something. say what, how this really works? Leonard, this is how it really works. 95% of the people that are watching don't watch it. That's how it really works. I got bitten in the eye by a, a, a creature, right? So my eye swelled. It was an looked, Angelos. It I was an Angelos like, bug. Yeah, I look like Rocky, you know, Rocky 2, uh, you know. <laughs> cut me, Mick. Cut me, cut Mick. Me. Cut me, Mick. Right, exactly. I was having a cut me, Mick moment. And my <laughs> wife w took pity on me, brought some muffins, and we made some coffee. And That's we were going to watch the Orioles game, which we hadn't done because I was out. She what was a good here. girl. So, right, so we're going to watch the Orioles game, and she – she comes to me holding the remote and my wife is prone to frustration. She, I, I can't find the effing thing. And I'm like, yep. not that this should be a shocker. And I brought this up and I want to bring this up again. Cause this person was important to me. Did you ever attend a skipjacks game? Oh yeah, sure. Do you Many. remember there Many. was a guy in section two ten oh, that my ran goodness. up and down the section yeah. with the fireman's hat on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Goal, right. Sure. And he, he would do skippers on a war pack. Go, go. Skipper's yeah. award. His name's Jeff Amder. He is okay. still very much alive and well. He yep. was a longtime school teacher in uh, Howard County. Um, known him forever. He had a fall a couple weeks ago. He's getting mm. a little older, up in age. But yep. Jeff goes to Nationals games, Orioles games, but he's an Orioles fan. He's a like a as big a sports fan as I know. He was yeah, a, got it. He, he was a cheerleader for the team, basically. For right, Rocky, right, right, right. And he's a wonderful man. And he's in the hospital, and I'm, we're all trying to get him better. You know what I mean? He's posting things. And he posts on Sunday that, like, all weekend, that when the games are on Mass in 2, and I know this from my wife having spent 155 nights in the hospital, yep. when the game's on Mass in 2, people in the Forget hospital it. don't get the game. People right. in the nursing home don't get the game. Right. Unless they have Mass in 1, they don't get the game at all. And then you introduce this Peacock and this Apple Plus. I just think, it's, I just think it stinks. And Jeff has not been able to watch the Orioles play in the hospital. And he's in the hospital and it's sort of yep. like, and he's a lifer fan. And it's one thing that would, dare I say, be medicine for him. Right. I hear you. you know what I mean, I, hear I, you. I just think it stinks. It's one thing for me to bitch about it. But to your point, you're like, oh, I'm going to pay one hundred twenty dollars. And, you, you you know, talk about the popcorn I didn't eat and the trip to Chicago <laughs> that it would have taken me to go. And like we all had, of that. We did my have wife, nachos. You know, my wife, did, did my wife came in. We looked at each other. We couldn't find the game. We realized we didn't have Peacock. I realized I wasn't going to sign up for Peacock. You know what she did? She went for a three and a half mile walk and th 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 went for a hike. Do a little nature. That's what she did. So she did that instead of going to the Oro game, and she's like, she ain't the only one. I get it. Look, I'm with you. I, I, I think this is crazy, but for whatever reason, the world is streaming, and MLB, I guess, I guess, thinks they're going to pick up the younger demographic by streaming instead of being on Old TV. I don't you know have, what listen, that means. You have rich clients that live in weird places where they don't really get streaming. You know what I mean? Like where it's really sure. tough to stream. Sure. It, I mean, it's, you know, we live in Hunt Valley and Towson and downtown and we're moving around the Beltway. It did take me long two summers ago to get on the political train of the Crab Cake Tour going over in the Eastern Shore and going to Western Maryland where, like, there were large stretches of places where, like, I had one bar. Internet <laughs> no ain't bars. happening. Internet ain't happening there. You're exactly it ain't happening right. at Luke Jones's house, and he lives 20 minutes from here. <laughs> it's a bad day when you can't watch the birds. 
So you got to turn on the uh, – well, you can't even get serious radio, I guess, if you don't got bars. Well, I mean, you're a great example of this, Leonard. You're a guy with – you know, you have disposable income. You have two homes. And I have- found it. Right. But but Look. it was still it wasn't easy for you. No, you're a smart no, guy. I get it. I get it. Did you find it, it by the time the game started, or did you go looking for it at one o'clock and found it at one twenty? I mean, there there's a period where you start to miss. By the time I couldn't find it, it was the third inning, like literally. Yeah. Well, like, here's. I guess I ain't so watching the how, game today. Here's how crazy I am. Of course, right? I'm I'm up Sunday morning having little Father's Day brunch. And I, I forgot I that on, part. It was Father's Day too. Yeah, and I flip on the guide on the Direct TV because I'm still a slave to that. Although. I will be potentially getting rid of that soon because no more Sunday NFL ticket, which is why I kept it for all these years. So you had now direct TV because of that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, so you, you haven't been a Comcast or some, no, some no, 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 okay. no. So, so I'm direct TV guy. I pull up the guide uh, Sunday morning while I'm having a little brunch, and I look and I see Channel 11 has uh, BALs got the golf. I said, okay, where are the Orioles? One o'clock, two o'clock. I'm looking not on CBS, not on Fox. Then I go to ESPN. Then I go to FS1. Then I go to Masson. You know, just going through the the usual sports sub- suspects. I did, I did everything you did. And then I said there. Orioles, Cubs, baseball. I was trying to find everything. And then I finally went and I looked Peacock and I'm like, who? Yeah, who I found signs it on, like I said, on I found this it. Major League Baseball to – Found it on ESPN that it on ESPN.com. It showed that the game was going to be on Peacock. So I went to the, to the, uh, we have, we have a smart TV, everything smart these days. It's not just a phone went to the smart TV button because, uh, we watch Netflix on there. I have one. I have a little, it's a little microphone. You right. It. Right. You say, be smart. Right. And so up pop these apps across the bottom and, and we got the ESPN plus and the, the Apple TV and the and the whatever. And so I Hulu. go to don't forget Hulu. Hulu. Like Hulu. That. Yep. And I go to the peacock and it pops up and it says coming. You know, this was like noon. Orioles Cubs, one o'clock. I said, okay. So I found it. And then I said, click, you know, play peacock. And then it said, enter your password. And I said, Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Now, now we're stuck because I don't have a password. The boy has all the passwords, either in his phone or in his brain. So I text the boy, where am I? This is how bad life is in America 2023. I'm in the family room, the boy's in his bedroom, doing some art history homework. Hold on, you text your kid in the other room? Yeah, because I need the password. So I said, give me the password for Peacock, because then when he texts it to me, I can read it on the yeah, 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 you have thing. Yeah. So I have it there. So he texts me the password and i didn't light send up. it back by a carrier pigeon or fax machine or anything. <laughs> he right, sent it back with a fax with the curly paper and then i <laughs> i put in the password up pops the the, the peacock and it says welcome and play so you and were I, good an hour before the game i was good and ready but then by the time the game started i was sitting by the pool uh because it was a gorgeous day and me and the wife and the dog were outside the game didn't come outside with you the, I, I don't have an outside television here don't have an outside television. We just so you, have. So the, you could, you'd have to bring your laptop or your iPad to watch. Yeah. So instead, and I then brought put the password the, uh, in again. That right? well, I don't know about that, but <laughs> so so we just grabbed the. Uh, we have the outside speakers, and so we grabbed the Sirius radio and turned on the game and and listened to it on the on the. That's air. how you got Garcia. So you didn't even watch it after you went through all. Of after it, I you found watched. Peacock, I didn't. Should have come over it. to your house. I was wondering right. who had Peacock. Right. You know? I didn't watch it. Well, you know, next but time I did you'll wonder, know. like, if I had gone to Costas, know. like, how do they I find don't know. it? You know, they, how does a bar find? If I go to Nacho Mama's, is it on? I I don't. That's like, a great question. I don't, I don't know. know. Well, we're in a really weird space now, where these teams have world is such money and such liberty that they don't really have to make it easy on their customers. Wait, wait for the NFL season. I think we're going to see all kinds of crazy when, when Sunday ticket is now, I think it's app. Is it Apple plus or Amazon? I don't know. Amazon. I just, I just know it's not. The Thursday was Amazon because we had to watch the Thursday night football game on, on my laptop. Right. I just know it's not direct TV anymore. So, so now I can shop cable uh what is the other one what's the other one cable direct tv there's oh fios fios i can oh, shop oh, yeah, the yeah, fios yeah. and and now i can see which one is going to give me the best deal for the regular tv because i don't need to keep direct tv anymore for the uh for football 
for football. Right. That's the reason whenever I would get a well, call. TV's from, out of business, right? I hope you don't have anybody in their stock, right? Well, that's uh, they were were they GE? No, they're AT and T. AT and T. Now, did they? I don't know if they sold Direct TV or not. AT and T's not going out of business, I don't think. Right? right. Well, that's who that's who owns Direct TV, or at least they did. So well, look, we'll, we'll while see. we're talking about this, and I've talked a lot of baseball. Let a Raskins here, Raskin Global. He will take better care of your money than the Orioles are taking care of their their stakeholders at this point <laughs> in regards to getting to the games. <laughs> I've done a lot of baseball this summer because obviously it's back and we're interested. You're interested. Winning. I'm interested. Winning. But this whole notion, like we talked about Oakland and the franchise moving, but like the television Vegas. part of this is a thing that sits on top of the sport like a gorilla because it's their revenue. And they've been stealing revenue forever. I mean, it was sort of a, it was built on this cable television model where people were all going to pay into it. And like you, you were paying for Peacock and didn't even know you had it till something showed up. Right. And the same thing would be true for true TV every year on March madness weekend or with these and true TV has been going on for 10 years. I don't even know where it is. And right. I only find that the Terps are playing St. Bonaventure on exactly. March 18th or whatever. The, the amazing part of these RSNs and uh, our local buddies over at Sinclair being a big, big investor in all the regional sports networks. Boy, the San Diego Padres, two, three weeks ago, for June 1st, network goes out of business and they just hand the keys back to Major League Baseball. And all the Padres fans have to figure out, well, where am I getting the games now? Where am I watching I, the game? I, I, you know, I paid for my cable television. And this is really no different than my friend Jeff Amder in the hospital trying to get Masson one or mass and two because the Orioles are mass and two and they're on Ma nationals are on mass and one. It, it is this game of shells. The Dodgers have been doing this for 15 years with their yep. games in LA. Yep. Like how is that sustainable Leonard? They're like, doing it. They're doing it because now let's face it. Now you're going to subscribe to, or you're going to become, what is it? You're an Amazon prime member. So you get your stuff delivered that day or the next day. And instead of Amazon Prime delivering you uh, your 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 dog stuff or Chewy delivering your dog stuff, you're going to you're going to subscribe to Amazon Plus Plus because now you're going to want football or now you're going to want uh, baseball. And what's going to happen is, look, I, I don't know the number. I, I recall it was significant. And I don't know. Like you said, I think it's Amazon that paid for NFL Sunday ticket or, or whoever it is. Uh, my goodness, the, the price point that you have to pay for that. And I think the way it works, it was YouTube, by the way, YouTube. It's $2 billion. Right. So, so YouTube pays for it. And if you are already a YouTube red or YouTube plus member, if you want football, it's a couple hundred bucks. If you're not a member, it's double that. Here it's we like go. Five, I'm reading it to you. Ready? Bucks. There, yeah, there's a hundred dollar pre-sale discount. They will charge $349 for the Sunday ticket. There you go. And 389 with red zone. Uh, the cost on the primetime channels. Once the pre-sale discount ends are 449 and 489. So, but you also have to be a YouTube plus something subscriber to get some discount thing. It's so where are they getting $2 billion? People better buy up <laughs> two billion, two billion. So so the league, whether it be the NFL, the MLB, they don't really care as long as check clears. Uh, yeah. And, and, you know, I, I say this and we talked about we're talking about the Orioles we're talking about football last two weeks ago. How I think it was terrible. I mean, it was well done, but I think it was this is just me. The. Uh, the NHL finals were on TBS. Yeah. And like that's all fine. Nobody would ever look to find right. them. But yeah, that's where I'm looking for hockey. The the playoffs first round. You don't ever local. you don't ever trip over it though, like you used to with your cable remote. Right. Tripping. You're not tripping over that hockey game. If you didn't know what was going on and you're not vested, you're not a part you're of not the a soap fan. Opera. You're not on TBS. You're not fallen over the NHL finals. I did not watch the cup get hoisted this year for the first time in a long, long time because it just wasn't it wasn't in my space. It wasn't yeah. in front of me. So I, I was watching and the family was miserable because I'm the only one in the household that really loves hockey, but I was watching, they had to suffer through and, and it was a, it was a really good series for the first two games. Uh, then the, the Knights just flattened Florida. I mean, they were just far better, bigger, stronger, faster, and they tore them to pieces and, and they deserved that cup. They played a great season. They played a great, uh, 
They've done a hell of a job building a franchise. They did build. Look, the the, the funniest thing, of course, were the people holding up, holding up the cardboard signs. We've waited six years for this. (laughs) Look, the first year they they fought the Caps for the for the final in their first season. Now, six years with all the old Caps people running it. Right. Six years later, they actually hoisted the cup and they look like a real, a really good, good team. And they, they got some good talent there. They could win it again and again, who knows, but, but you had to find it on TBS. Uh, the, the, the crew was good. The broadcast was good. Uh, your friend, your friend, uh, what's his name? Albert, not Marv. I Kenny keep thinking Albert. Marv. Kenny. Who? Kenny. Kenny. Yeah, Kenny did the broadcast with uh, Eddie Olchek and and Keith Jones. Did you know about this? Keith Jones didn't well, I know about Keith this. Jones when Keith Jones first put his skates on down at Piney uh, Piney yeah. Orchard. Yeah. Uh, as a cap, I remember yeah. I remember seeing him skate for the first time with a wonderful man named Tom Ebright, who was the owner of the there Skate Jacks. Tom there you picked go. me up. Literally, Tom picked me up, put me in his car. He had like a DeLorean. He had some weird <laughs> car that wasn't like it was a. It was a unique, rare. He was a, a wealthy, not eccentric. Tom Ebright was just a wonderful man. Yeah. Uh, but he owned the Skipjacks, and he picked me up in his car, and we drove down and saw Keith Jones practice for the Skipjacks so slash he, Capitals. He practiced. He played for the Jacks, played for the Capitals. Then he went on to other teams, Flyers and others. Then he got into broadcasting. He's been broadcasting for a long time, and then they're all saying goodbye to him in the last game of the series, and I'm saying goodbye. Where's he? He obviously got canned. Did he get canned? No, he is the director of hockey operations for the Philadelphia Flyers. Next oh, year. well, good. Well, he's become a neighbor so, then. We've been back yeah, up so, he, Philly. so he left the broadcast booth to run the Flyers, which well, is hold on a second. Kind of I mean, wild. Mike, Mike Mayock did that in, in with the Raiders, right? Look, lots of guys. Look, Steve Eiserman's run great hockey teams. He ran Tampa Bay. He's now back running, I think, Detroit. But but I didn't picture Keith Jones. Uh, Keith, Jones. yeah, as Jones, yeah, as the the manager head operations of Philly. But he is, so he's he going to be running him the up Six times for the ninety one ninety two skipjacks, and eight times uh, for the ninety two ninety three skipjacks, and then the team departed. So he was uh, right. You know, he played but, games here, uh, absolutely. But then, he, then the Caps, and and now, so now that the uh, Stanley Cup is over, you can go to NHL Network. This is another one you got to trip over. And watch the Hershey Bears, who are one game away from the AHL championship. I'm on their mailing list because we <laughs> used to do bus trips. So I've gotten the come-ons for – I said to my wife last week, I'm like, hey, if you want to go to a hockey game, Hershey's still playing. I mean, right. I used to go up there for playoff games back in the day. Long Look, time they ago. were down They were down 0-2. They came home to Hershey. They sold out that arena up there, the Hershey Arena, and whatever it's called. And they won three in a row. The last one won nothing in overtime. And so they are one game away from hoisting whatever it is. The call is it the Calder Cup? Well, Calder yes, the Calder, yes, it is the Calder Cup. Yes. There you go. See, I, I got my minor leagues going too here. And uh they, they got they got to win one on the road. They lost two on the road, they won three at home. Now they got to win one on the road to hoist the minor league equivalent of the Stanley Cup. Well, you know the big thing they do up there is the teddy bear thing, right? You know, yes, that. That's yes. A big deal charity that's a huge I, I like thing i almost want to go to it well, my son has been to it a couple of times because he was into it um yep. i almost want to go it, it feels like a bucket list type of thing that if i'm going to go to a another hershey bears game and i've been to you know yeah i've been to you gotta go to the bears teddy bear games. game you gotta go yeah, to the go teddy, to teddy bear, bear game, game. Says, let a raskin is here he manages money sports the remote control around his house and, <laughs> and all of the accounts that the, the, the Hulus and the Peacocks. So we turned this into a whole media segment. Anything you want to say on the finan- finances and summertime here? Um, buying a beach house, is that a good idea or a bad idea? It depends if you want to hang out at the beach. It's a great question. Anytime you're looking to buy, when you say a beach house, I assume you mean a second home. You, you you call it what you're going to call it. Yes. Well, I'm just saying whether it's a beach house or I'm a not going to baseball or positive on 124th Street, but I I right, could. But, but wherever wherever you're going to buy that second home, the big thing is you got to want to be there, because if you're not going to rent it and you're going to buy it simply as a second home, it's a consumer of your dollars and a consumer of your time. So you have to consider that your vacation spot 
and you're going to use it enough to make it worth the ownership. Again, kind of justifying the peacock. You got to make sure that you use it enough to warrant its ownership. Otherwise, it's an albatross. It just ends up costing you a lot of money. Yeah, does the value go up over time? Sure, but but not enough to justify its ownership unless you're really going to use it or you're going to convert it to rent. If you're going to make it a rental property, rental property real estate is one of the greatest things anyone can invest in anywhere over the long term. You get income, you get growth of value, you get tax breaks, you get use the opportunity to use the place sometimes if you want to and for maintenance and opportunity. And over the long term, if you buy the right real estate from a rental standpoint, you make a lot of money. I tell people all the time, if you were a little kid and you played Monopoly, then you understand buying a second home at the beach because you could buy some houses there in Atlantic City in that game and collect some rents and make some money. And if you were really smart, you could buy some hotels, and then make some real money. And then you could knock out your friends and win the game. Especially you so put them you- in like New York Avenue because they're coming out of jail. And they when they're leave. coming out of jail, they're yeah. going to land on those Marvin yeah. Gardens. They're going to hit Marvin Gardens. Right. And and all you need to own is the yellows and the greens, the yellows and the greens, and one of Boardwalk or Park Place. Because if you own one, nobody else can build there and hurt you. So as long as nobody else can hurt you, you win. So rental property is a great thing. Second home is a great thing if you're going to use it. If you're not going to use it, it's a vacant piece of brick and mortar, I guess, you know. Right. Frickin and then crazy. it's not a great thing. <laughs> Leonard Raskin is here. He is Raskin Global. He's got advice for everybody. Find him out at Raskin Global. Find him in the front of BaltimorePositive.com. And hopefully find him out on our 25th anniversary tour uh, beginning August 3rd at Costas and August 4th at uh, Drug City celebrating 25 years here at WNST. We're going to be celebrating on Thursday this week the Maryland Crab Cake Tour back out on the road. Be giving away the Maryland Lottery scratch-offs in the 50th anniversary and our friends at Window Nation as well. We're going to be at Spirits West on Wilkins Avenue. on the uh, And here they got a great crab cake over there. I'm looking forward to it. I used to get the shrimp salad at Kibbe's around the corner. So the standards are high. It's been about three weeks since I've had a crab cake. I was at Fadley's a couple weeks ago for one. So I'm overdue. Maryland Crab Cake Tours on the road. I am Nestor. We are WNST AM 1570. Towson, Baltimore. And we never stop talking. Baltimore, positive.